Today, let's talk about the exciting updates coming to the Tesla Model Y Juniper 2025. I'm sure many of you are curious about the new features and improvements Tesla is bringing to one of its most popular vehicles. Let's dive deep and explore everything that's new in this model, which promises to be the launch of the year. At least, that's my hope. First, one of the major updates is the increased range. Tesla has introduced a range upgrade for the rear-wheel drive Model Y models, allowing for an additional 30 to 50 miles of range at a cost ranging from $1,000 to $1,600. This is a significant advancement, especially for those who take long trips and need a bit more range without having to recharge as frequently. Imagine the convenience of being able to drive from city to city or go on a weekend getaway without the constant worry of finding a charging station. This type of upgrade truly enhances the practicality and freedom for drivers. Furthermore, the range upgrade is a clear demonstration of how Tesla is attentive to the needs and feedback of its customers. Many Tesla owners have expressed concerns about the current range, saying that while it's generally sufficient for daily use, it still falls short in situations that require longer trips. With this new upgrade option, Tesla offers a practical and affordable solution to these concerns, allowing owners to significantly improve their vehicle's range without needing to invest in an entirely new model. For me, this is one of the most exciting and innovative aspects of Tesla. They not only launch new vehicles but also continue to improve existing models, offering owners the opportunity to upgrade their cars with the latest technological innovations. This ongoing focus on improvement and customer satisfaction is what truly sets Tesla apart from many other automakers. Another interesting point about this range upgrade is how it is implemented. Instead of requiring a visit to the dealership or a complicated physical upgrade, owners can simply access the Tesla app, navigate to the Upgrades tab, and select the necessary software update. In a matter of minutes, your car can gain dozens of additional miles of range, all through a digital update. This convenience is something that really sets Tesla apart in the current automotive market. For those who might still be unsure whether this range upgrade is worth it, consider the impact it could have on your vehicle's resale value. A Model Y with greater range could be much more attractive to potential buyers in the future, making it a smart investment. Additionally, this upgrade can be particularly useful in areas where charging stations are less common, offering an extra layer of security and peace of mind during trips. Another exciting new feature is the availability of new color options for the Model Y. Now, the model includes the Quicksilver paint for all versions in North America, a color that was previously exclusive to Europe. This addition is especially interesting for those looking for a premium and distinctive look for their cars. Quicksilver is simply stunning, offering a sophisticated and elegant appearance to the vehicle, all for an affordable price of $2,000 in the US. For those who like a car with a unique look, this color is an excellent choice and definitely worth considering. What really impresses me about Quicksilver is that it's not just a beautiful color. It represents a significant leap in automotive painting evolution at Tesla. Thanks to advanced technology from the Giga Berlin factory, the Quicksilver paint is composed of up to 13 layers, creating an effect that changes depending on the angle of view. This not only gives the Model Y a dynamic and sophisticated look, but also highlights Tesla's innovation and commitment to quality and design. The painting technology at Giga Berlin is something that really fascinates me. The ability to apply 13 layers of paint is not just an impressive technical feat, but also a testament to the attention to detail and finish that Tesla puts into its vehicles. Each layer adds depth and richness to the color, resulting in a finish that is truly unique in the automotive market. This level of detail and care is something that, in my opinion, puts Tesla a step ahead of many competitors. Additionally, the introduction of Quicksilver in North America is a clear sign that Tesla is expanding its offerings to better meet the tastes and preferences of its customers in different markets. Previously, Quicksilver was exclusive to models manufactured in Europe, 
but now North American consumers can also enjoy this premium color option. This expansion is an example of how Tesla is committed to offering its customers more options and personalization. If you're thinking about buying a Model Y and want your car to stand out in the crowd, Quicksilver is a fantastic choice. Personally, I think this color adds a touch of luxury and exclusivity to the vehicle, making it not just a means of transportation but a true piece of art on wheels. And considering the affordable price of $2,000 in the US, it's an investment worth making for any car enthusiast who values style and individuality. It's also important to highlight that this attention to detail and design is not something isolated at Tesla. The company has a reputation for innovating in all aspects of its vehicles, from battery technology to interior materials and, of course, paint options. Another point to consider is how the Quicksilver color can complement other features of the Model Y. For example, if you opt for an interior with white seats, the combination with Quicksilver can result in an incredibly modern and elegant look. These customization options allow each owner to create a vehicle that truly reflects their personal style. Now, let's talk about an update that many might not yet know about, the Cabin Air Filter Health Check. Tesla has added an air filter health interface to the HVAC section, allowing users to monitor the condition of the filters in real time. This is extremely useful for ensuring that the air inside the car is always clean and fresh, especially in cities with high pollution, where air quality can be a constant concern. The air filter health interface displays the filter condition as a percentage, making it easy to interpret and track the need for maintenance. When the percentage starts to drop, it's a clear sign that the filter is nearing the end of its lifespan and will need to be replaced soon to avoid unpleasant odors and ensure maximum filtration efficiency. This level of detailed monitoring is uncommon in other vehicles and, in my opinion, is one of the many ways Tesla stands out in terms of technology and customer care. Besides the convenience of knowing exactly when to replace the filter, this update also brings a sense of peace of mind for drivers. In urban areas with high pollution levels, having the assurance that the air inside your vehicle is continuously filtered and kept clean can make a big difference in the comfort and health of the occupants. This is particularly important for people with allergies or respiratory issues who can significantly benefit from cleaner indoor air. Tesla recommends replacing the cabin air filter every two years and the HEPA filter every three years. However, these intervals can vary depending on how the vehicle is used and the amount of debris entering the cabin. For instance, if you frequently drive in dusty or polluted areas, you might need to replace the filters more often. This flexible recommendation allows owners to adjust maintenance according to their specific driving conditions, ensuring the best performance of the filtration system. Many car manufacturers might consider an air filtration system a trivial component but Tesla has elevated this element to a new level. The ability to monitor the filter's health in real time not only enhances the user experience, but also extends the lifespan of the HVAC system by keeping it efficient and functional for a longer period. Another interesting aspect of this update is the potential for long-term cost savings. By monitoring the air filter's health and replacing it only when necessary, owners can avoid unnecessary replacements and optimize maintenance costs. This is particularly advantageous in an electric vehicle, where maintenance is already significantly lower compared to internal combustion engines. The cabin air filter check is an update that combines cutting-edge technology with practical everyday concerns. It's a feature that not only improves the air quality inside the vehicle, but also provides drivers with a valuable tool for proactive maintenance. We can't forget the new 48-volt low-voltage system Tesla is implementing. This system will be present in the Model Y Juniper and future Tesla vehicles, reducing the current required and potentially improving the vehicle's efficiency and overall performance. This change is a significant step toward even more efficient electric vehicles. The 48-volt system represents a true revolution in automotive design. By reducing the need for current, it allows Tesla to make smaller and lighter components, 
benefiting the car in terms of mass and weight. This should also help improve the vehicle's range and performance, making it even more appealing to buyers. But the improvements don't stop there. The Model Y Juniper will also feature a redesigned exterior, enhanced suspension, reduced road noise, and higher quality interior materials. These changes aim to improve comfort and the overall driving experience, addressing feedback from many Model Y drivers who have been asking for these upgrades for some time. The enhanced suspension and reduced road noise are particularly important. Many Model Y owners have complained about the ride quality and road noise in previous models. Tesla has listened to these concerns and is bringing solutions that should make a significant difference in drivers' daily experiences. Tesla is also adding updated tech features, such as a redesigned center console, wireless phone chargers, and ventilated seats. These small details make a real difference in daily vehicle use, making it more practical and comfortable. Personally, I love the idea of ventilated seats, especially in warmer climates. And speaking of technology, one of the most controversial changes in the Tesla Model Y is the removal of the traditional levers behind the steering wheel for gear shifting and signaling. Instead, signaling will now be done via buttons on the steering wheel and gear shifting will be managed directly on the car's touchscreen. This change might seem a bit strange and even challenging for many drivers accustomed to traditional controls, but I believe that with time and practice, everyone will quickly get used to this new setup. The decision to eliminate control levers represents a bold and innovative approach by Tesla, focusing on simplifying the vehicle's interior and further integrating the driving experience with the digital interface. The buttons on the steering wheel for signaling are intuitive and accessible, allowing drivers to keep their hands on the wheel at all times, which can enhance safety. Additionally, the gear shifting on the touchscreen may initially seem less practical, but it is designed to be highly responsive and easy to use. One reason behind this change could be Tesla's desire to reduce complexity in the number of mechanical components in the car, which might result in less maintenance and greater durability in the long run. Furthermore, this minimalist approach aligns with the futuristic and clean design that Tesla promotes in its vehicles. For me, one of the advantages of this new setup is the potential for customization and continuous updates. Since gear shifting and other controls are now managed by software, Tesla can release software updates to enhance functionality or add new features without the need for physical changes to the car. This means that owners can benefit from ongoing improvements over time, which is difficult to achieve with traditional mechanical controls. It's understandable that some drivers might feel uncomfortable or skeptical about this change initially. The absence of physical levers might seem like a loss of tangible control over the vehicle. However, Tesla has a track record of successful innovation, and often its pioneering changes end up becoming the new industry standard. A prime example is the adoption of the large central touchscreen in its cars, which many found out at first but is now widely accepted and even imitated by other brands. Personally, I believe this change has the potential to enhance the driving experience by reducing distractions and simplifying the car's interior. The buttons on the steering wheel are ergonomically positioned, allowing quick and easy access to turn signals without needing to move your hands. Gear shifting on the touchscreen might require a bigger adjustment, but with Tesla's intuitive interface, I think drivers will adapt quickly. While it may require a period of adjustment, I believe the long-term benefits, such as increased safety, less maintenance, and the ability for continuous updates, will make this change a positive addition to the driving experience. I'm eager to see how drivers adapt to this new configuration. Additionally, the Model Y Juniper will share many parts with the Model 3, following Tesla's strategy to reduce costs. Historically, the Model Y and Model 3 share around 76% of their parts, which helps Tesla keep prices competitive and improve production efficiency. This approach is one of the reasons Tesla can offer such innovative vehicles at relatively affordable prices. Now, let's talk about what we can expect in terms of launch. While the exact launch date for the Model Y Juniper is not yet known, 
there are speculations that it could be revealed by mid-2025. This aligns with the release schedule of the Model 3 Highland, which took about 10 months from its first camouflaged appearance to the official reveal. As we await the official launch, Tesla might offer significant discounts on the current Model Y models to clear out inventory. So, if you're not chasing the latest version, it could be a great time to snag a good deal on a Model Y. But if you're like me and love having the latest model with all the new features, it's worth waiting for the Juniper. The Model Y Juniper promises to be an exciting addition to the Tesla lineup, bringing several improvements and innovations that cater to drivers' needs and desires. From increased range to new color options and enhancements in comfort and technology, there's a lot to be excited about with this new model. So, what do you think of these updates to the Model Y? For me, each of these improvements demonstrates how Tesla continues to innovate and enhance their vehicles, always listening to customer feedback. I'm particularly eager to see how these changes translate into the everyday driving experience. So, everyone, don't forget to leave your opinions in the comments. I'm curious to know what you think of these updates and what other improvements you'd like to see in the Model Y. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. See you next time.